Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, what is a junior backend developer expected to know? So let's get into it. Well, let's first and foremost start out with that uh, I'm not a big fan of this sub-typing sort of... Uh, of this tool-specific term that some people like to slap on themselves. I, I just want you, you to know this, that uh, in general when you speak about development, professional grade software development, we use the terms, we have specific terms that we use. The problem with saying that you are a React developer, is there's well, not necessarily, it's not necessarily a problem, but rather it's, uh, it, it entails something that is not the greatest thing for your. It, it can be a, become a problem for you, because one thing, a practice that a lot of developers who don't actually know, like, or rather, how, who pe people who don't know how to write professional grade software development has to have this practice where they will use a specific tool to express that, hey, all I actually really know how to do is this one single thing. WordPress developers is an example of that, where you state explicitly that you are a WordPress developer and by the industry standards that does not actually make you a real developer. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. Well, I mean, unless you have other things as well and you just for some reason want to brand yourself that way, but a, there's a quite a lot of uh, freelancers who use this term to kind of illustrate that, oh, I only work with WordPress. So be a little bit careful with that, but for, let's just get into it. So for a junior developer to be able to produce meaningful software, I think that we I will just touch on the bare bone basics, but I also need to touch, touch on a little bit on what is expected of you and a few issues that you will face as you kind of go along. So the first thing is of course React, that's the bare bone obvious thing. React Router is also bare-bone stuff. They are so closely tied together that it's almost imp it's very unlikely that you will find one without the other. And then you have Redux, which is still extremely, extremely relevant and one of the most... Co like it's, it's almost included in every single project. Then you have CSS, some type of pre-compiler like SAS, LESS, PostCSS, something of this nature, so that sort of thing. That also ties into responsive design, which is a must-have. HTML, of course, and you know, I'm just saying, well, plain old JavaScript, having an understanding of how to write actual code with JavaScript then you will need to have an understanding of REST, REST APIs, HTTP, and how that works. You're going to have to have a, underst a good understanding of a bundler, such as a Webpack. It doesn't have to be Webpack, but ideally Webpack, because it's probably one of the most used ones. And then having a good understanding of NPM and or Yarn, which is the package install installing systems. Having a strong understanding of Node and how server-side JavaScript actually works and having, uh, because uh, a lot of the stuff that you will do ties into using Node in some fashion, which brings us into using Gulp and Grunt, which are task runners that are extremely common, these uh, extremely common in and present in quite a few projects. So these are the like front-end specific stuff and then some people will claim that you know knowing something like git for version control is important. Some people will say that oh you need to know the command line and although that is well a terminal some or a shell and although that is useful it's not strictly necessary and the same thing goes for git. It's uh, it's a hard way off this because some companies have a you know they expect some things up front and some companies don't. I know for a fact that git is not always a hard requirement to know but it's going to be the first thing that you will be taught if you don't know it because it is critical information. The question is whether or not a company will expect you to know it before you actually get the job because some stuff and that's something you should remember. Guys, you don't have to know every single thing before you start at a company. It's about knowing enough so that the rest can be taught in a reasonable amount of time. The, and it differs from company to company how much that actually is. Some companies have extremely unreasonable expectations, I'm sorry to say. And 
some companies have a lot less expectations on their juniors. It's a very hard thing to kind of gauge in and say definitively that this is the way it works because it very much depends on the company and how much they invest into onboarding new people. But I would say that the things that I've touched on now are for, fr like for pure front-end purposes, the absolute bare-bone basics. But then you have like software-related things such as knowing the basics of software development like object-oriented programming. Like, I mean, these things I hope feel fairly straightforward. The, like this is, these practices are tied into knowing how just JavaScript and how to do proper development actually work. But I will, I will say so anyway. So these are, I would say, the absolute barebone basics. What's also worth mentioning though is that even if you have a good understanding of these barebone basics, you will find that that doesn't translate into you just having getting a job because of this because although these are the things that I know for a fact are a basic, the barebone basics and I know these two things to be a fact because this is the stuff that me and my junior like uh, that's the stuff that I help my juniors with every day it's the stuff that I do every single day I've been doing it for years I know ex this is like this is not guess this part is not guesswork the guesswork part comes to uh, comes when it comes to, to the actual recruitment process and that's the thing that is a little bit weird sometimes because some companies will they will ask for certain things but they will test you on other stuff it's very co I could, i've seen like code interview processes where it ranges from you just knowing what i just told you like even sometimes even smaller things like that in in some cases but the, like something of this nature up until you know having to implement some type of computer science related algorithm or a data structure or something like that or a model and then some in some situations it's been the case where you have to map out on a whiteboard basically how a system should work at its entirety and that means an entire system and that's something that only a well a back-end developer or a full-stack developer, somebody who actually knows system as a real software development can answer. I'm not sure whether or not if I if uh, a complete beginner would face that sort of sort of thing, but you should be prepared for it. So what I want you to take away from this is that the bare-bone basics of React development are the things that I just listed. Though I will warn you and say that even if you learn those things, it's very hard to say whether or not that's going to be enough in, for every scenario. It's going to be enough for something, for some things, and it's going to be the thing that you do pretty much every single day. But the interview processes will vary from company to company, because, and some companies will test you on these exact things. Some companies will test you on algorithms and data structures and computer science related stuff. And some companies will test you on software architecture, just the whole whole thing, because each company makes, I mean, they make up their own rules and they define for themselves what they need from a, from a developer. And that's why I think that this term that some people like to do, want to define front end developer, what is a front end developer? It doesn't mean shit a lot of the time. It doesn't, it, what it, actually means is that you are a software developer with a really strong understanding of front-end related technologies and that usually is the same thing as saying that you are a full-stack JavaScript developer. That's at least what I've seen so far. Have a great day!